he is. He now sees the survivor coming back up for a repositioning maneuver. This helicopter is very maneuverable. It has the ability to bank up to 90 degrees, which is very unusual for a helicopter. It's quite high performance, has a top speed in excess of 220 miles per hour. Notice the very high angle of attack, and notice also the refueling probe at the front of this helicopter. The refueling probe gives the helicopter almost unlimited range. It can go well behind enemy lines to pick up survivors. After the uh, helicopter picks up a survivor, he's ready for takeoff again. The helicopter. You might say that the rotor would get in the way of whatever pose you were doing to refuel, but as you'll notice, the probe does extend to get out well in front of the rotor so that there's no conflict between the rotors and the air refueling hose from the C-130 aircraft. Side. Helicopter saying hello to y'all. We'd like to point out that it is in fact being commanded by Major Mike Canders. Lieutenant Colonel Marty Ingram is the second pilot for today. They're based in Suffolk County, New York at the 102nd Aerial Rescue Squadron of the New York Air National Guard Unit. Believe me, if you're ever a downed fighter pilot in enemy territory, you would certainly like to see these folks come to pick you up. It's a very fine sight.